Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing great. Having a good week so far. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Pisces and it will not resonate with every Pisces cross watcher. Please take what resonates and read the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Pisces or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to book a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. Pisces. Ooh, if somebody's been stuck or trapped in something, that's coming to an end. Or if somebody's been in some severe mental turmoil, um, that's coming to an end here. Two of Wands, because someone's going in a different direction. Somebody's like getting out of their head and making the decision to end something and go in another direction here. They have a new beginning, yeah. Eight of Wands move on with their life, progress. When something maybe was holding them stagnant, they couldn't get out of their head. They felt trapped in a situation. This could be you guys. You have King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, some, something's getting walked away from here. Emotionally withdrawing from a situation. We have the Knight of Pentacles on the back of the deck. More Earth energy. Why was someone in the Eight of Swords energy? It's like somebody was stuck, but they're no longer stuck. Yeah, Nine of Swords. I told you, I was sensing it. Somebody was in some, some extreme mental, emotional turmoil, fear, anxiety, sadness despair why page of cups because maybe somebody i'm talking about the page of cups somebody broke your heart somebody You guys may have found out that somebody was still attached to somebody from there, but they were playing with your heart to some degree, or they were still like they were they had options, or they had they were juggling you in another situation or a person. Maybe you guys were waiting on an apology from someone. What did this person do? Give me more clarity about what this person did. There was like manipulation energy here, Ten of Cups, and the Five of Swords. It's like somebody wanted their cake and to eat it too or something here. Like somebody was still involved with another person. And they thought that they were going to maybe get away with this too. Like. What does this mean for my Pisces? The Ace of Pentacles though. What about the Ace of Pentacles? The star. There's something coming in for you. Wow, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys have somebody new coming in here. You have commitment. You have wish fulfillment. You have healing here. Long-term stability, abundance, building a legacy, building wealth here coming in for you. And what's this mean with this other situation that's being walked away from? The Nine of Pentacles, you're freeing yourself from it. Give me more clarity about why they're freeing themselves from this situation. Yeah, you're setting boundaries and freeing yourself. Why? I feel like also this person maybe went cold on you or something like they they started they stopped like giving to you emotionally. Yeah, you're like blocked. You're no longer. It's like you guys are cutting this person off. You're making the decision to move on from this person or this situation. And then boom, there's like this commitment or this person coming in for you. And I feel like you guys don't even see this coming. Yeah, you guys don't even see this new relationship or connection coming. Tell me more about what this past person did. I need to get clarity on this. What did this past person do to my Pisces collective? Why were they so heartbroken and stuck on this person? Unable to move on. I feel like this person never apologized to you for something. They never made amends or they never told you they were sorry for something. 
it was like this the way this person was very unapologetic about something that they did to you it just really stuck with you what what did this person do okay we have soulmate what did this person do coming to an end okay what's this mean for pisces separation time apart i was not good enough for you so this person's own insecurities they were insecure and what did they do they don't feel they maybe yeah like the this person maybe broke your heart because like maybe they with the page of cups like they maybe told you that they they had feelings for you but they didn't have like that deep of feelings for you or they didn't feel as deeply for you as you felt for them like the feelings weren't mutual it was like an unrequited love type situation but it's like really what it was with this person just felt like they weren't good enough for you what's coming to an end bad timing so something they needed to end in heartbreak yeah i'm telling you if you guys have been heartbroken over a situation or a person that's coming to an end the despair is ending here and what's it mean for this person what's it mean for this person Ooh, you guys may have somebody you guys may have this person coming back towards you beware of this person coming back guys because i feel like they're gonna maybe try to come towards you and manipulate you emotionally don't, that's why spirit's saying don't dismiss the red flags they're coming towards you because they're having some type of money issues what was this other situation that they had going on? What's this other situation? Oh, they had a friends with benefits relationship with another person. Somebody that they were like not letting go of from their past. They thought they felt more comfortable with that person or they felt like it was easier to just keep dealing with that situation or that person than to, you know, you know, whatever they, I feel like they would have needed to, it's like they felt like it was easier. They wanted to stay in their comfort zone to continue to engage in that situation. It's complicated. Yeah, they said that situation was complicated. This is probably a karmic for you guys. This is probably a karmic soulmate for you guys. But Spirit wants you to know that this person's going to try to reach out to you. But you guys have something new coming in for sure. Um, Let's see here. What else can we take a look at really quick? Tell me about this new situation that they've got coming in. Who is this new person or situation? Ooh, what is this? It's like you guys were dealing with somebody that really had no respect for you. They disrespected you. There was definitely um, deal breakers when it came to this person. It was very important that you walked away from this person. But you had, and this person brought you down. But you guys have somebody that's coming in that's very encouraging. They're kind of this being with this person is going to really kind of pull. You should be able to pull yourself out of a dark place. But I feel like this person is going to like it says pulling one another out of self doubt and dark times. Like you're going to like that's probably why this. I'm not saying you guys really need to find happiness within yourselves first, but I see somebody coming in that's going to really change your life. They're going to kind of be with this person is going to really kind of assist in pulling you out of a dark place. Let's put it that way. All right. And I don't see that you and this person will have any like, um, irreconcilable. Like you guys will be maybe have some challenges. There's always challenges when forming a bond or a relationship, building a relationship with a person. But um, I feel like you will learn a lot from this person and I don't see there being any, any huge big differences or any like huge red flags when it comes to this new person coming in. It looks like it could be a soulmate coming in for you, honestly. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys are manifesting a soulmate here. Okay, so let's see. All right, tell me about, it's like somebody put, this person puts you in a dark place, but there's somebody coming in that's going to pull you out of that. I want to see more about what this person was up to, because I want to just make sure that you guys know exactly who this is, but it's coming through right now. Oh, what did I do with it? What is, oh, I pulled some of these cards. Oh, goodness. What did this person do, this past person? Give me three cards. Spirit says three cards for what this person did to my Pisces collective. What did they do? Cheating, fetish craving. They're about to have their one. They're about having their one specific fetish, fetish, fetish sexual act. It says criminal mind. They could engage in some sort of criminal activity, theft, 
fraud or using illegal drugs. Oh. And we have lies, lies, lies. Control. In an effort to control your behavior, they lied to you. We have secrets. Embarrassed about you. They're embarrassed to claim you be around you in public or be in a relationship with you. It's not because they were embarrassed of you. I feel like it's because they wanted to keep this other situation going. Give me one more card about... So this is maybe somebody that never wanted to go out in public with you or they wanted to kind of like, you kind of felt like they were maybe keeping you a secret. They have anger problems. They have a lot of pent up anger, unresolved anger issues. And we have physical abuse. So it's probably, you guys are dodging a bullet with this person. Whether it's hitting, grabbing or shoving, it's time to get away. Some of you guys have already been through it with this person. That's how they put you in a dark place. They made you feel trapped, but I feel like you're freeing yourself from this person now. You were dealing with an abusive person. This person's abusive. What would they do to control my Pisces collector? What would they do? Online flirting, social media or dating sites. So yeah, they were like cheating on like why they were engaging it with multiple people on those sites. They're not always where they say they are going to be. So they would lie to you about where they were at. Or who they were with or who they were talking to on their phone. Notification go off. It would, they would say it was somebody else. Not that, you know, but okay. One more card. What were they lying about? It says vindictive. They are lying to cause harm to get revenge. This person's just a very like malicious, like they, they don't have good intentions. I don't even feel like you guys have even done anything to this person to deserve that. They just have issues. We, it, it says here, they have pent up anger and they're taking it out on you. You guys need to be careful of this person. This person's dangerous. All right, it says the wounded. They cheat to fill an emotional void or plays the victim role. Oof, yeah. All right, so let's give you a card of advice for this situation. Or a couple of cards of advice. I haven't had a reading like this in a while, goodness. The best thing you can do when it's hard to pick right from wrong is to go with your heart and hope it goes well. Tough decision. Yeah, you're going to have to make a difficult decision because, you know... You, you know in your heart the truth of the situation spirit is saying here but they're saying that it's going to be you probably love this person and that's why you've been having a hard time moving on from them but this is toxic and it's dangerous all right um the one who really loves you will never make you feel you must sacrifice your integrity and self-worth why bother and it says you can't change them yes you guys maybe thought you could change this person you maybe saw these qualities in them but you thought they would change or you thought that being with you they would change but it's not yeah, it says you can't change them. You either accept who they are or walk away. The choice is yours. Truth hurts. And it says when you hold on to resentment, you are bound to them. Focus on forgiveness and dissolve that link. So some of you guys have already removed yourself physically from the situation, but you're still holding on to anger and hurt and resentment for how this person treated you and what they did to you. But Spirit says to completely free yourself from this person, you need to let go of those harsh feelings, that resentment that you have for them. Practice forgiveness. It doesn't make what they did okay. It doesn't make, you know... Um, yeah, it doesn't make them what they did okay, but it's freeing yourself. It's releasing you from this person because until you do that, you will have this attachment to them, um, whether you want it or not. Okay, it says if you don't know where you stand, chances are you're not their priority. Not enough. Yeah. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope that this reading resonated with you and gave you some clarity about your situation. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you take something from this reading, personal readings are open. There is a link below to schedule one with me. And don't forget to like or, and or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. I hope you guys have a good weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.